quite quick before I head off to the shower is uh, isometrics. Now, I've gone a horse talking to you about the many and manifold benefits of isometrics done right. You know, it's not just simply touching your toes. It's not just simply doing Jane Fonda type stretches. It's isometrics done right, number one, takes a lot of time, okay? Uh, you can do it in 10 minutes or less. It's better than nothing, but it's really when you do it for long periods of time. And I've spoken about why you need to stretch for long periods of time. This sort of ties into it. Uh, again, that video is on my YouTube channel. But um, what I really want to talk about today and what a lot of the old timers, guys like Maxick and John Grimmick and these guys, if you don't know who they are, just Google them, you know, famous bodybuilders and real bodybuilders, not the bloated crap you see these days. Uh, not Ronnie Coleman, <laughs> not Arnold Schwarzenegger, who knew, who's had heart bypass surgeries and needs a crutch to get around, apparently. Or maybe that's Ronnie Coleman, yeah. Yeah, that's Coleman, not Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger is actually a pretty honest guy. He's actually, you know, admitted he did a lot of unhealthy stuff back in the day, including take steroids. But anyway, uh, Another main reason, man, and this is going to be the title of this video, isometrics builds a lot of muscle control. Now, when I say muscle control, I don't mean as in training and posing and, you know, the tip of the bicep or whatever people love to do. What I mean, and it's not, you know, the bodybuilder pose like this showing off the tricep. It's, it's none of that. It's not your leg pose, you know. What I mean by muscle control is controlling your muscles in a specific range of motion. It could be the push-up. I've spoken about doing things in proper form before. It's impossible to do a push-up or a pull-up in proper form until you have a lot of tendon control, ligament control, until those same parts of your body, vital areas, are strong enough, tensile enough, most importantly, until from your mind you can control those muscles and the tendons and ligaments attached to them. A lot of people say that's just for show. That's not for real. A lot of people will look at movies such as Kickboxer, uh, Bloodsport, and say that's not real fighting. Okay. Now, admittedly, a lot of the stuff shown in Bloodsport, the initial and one of my favorite movies, it's not technically real fighting in that in a real world situation, you're not going to have a case where you hold a kick like this, go out this way, Kick back, forwards, you can't really see it, but, you know, I'm doing it. Uh, and do it all in slow motion. You're going to go bang, 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 disable the attacker as soon as possible. You know, your kicks, and you're going to move back, you know, you know uh, get into your fighting stance, you know, and uh, you're going to see what the other guy does, and you're going to either take him out or you're going to be taken out yourself if he's got a weapon that's different. But anyway... My point is this, to do the bang, bang, bang stuff, the quick kicks, the quick punches, you know, bang, you know, whatever it is that you do. It could be uh, boxing, it could be whatever it is that you do. To do that, you need a lot of muscle and ligament strength and control. The way you build that is, A, by doing that bang, bang movement, by practicing your reflexes and that, uh, whatever they call that exercise in boxing, I've forgotten, uh, hitting the heavy bag and all that, but... The other way, and, well, not the other way, an equally important thing to do, perhaps even more important, is isometrics. You hold positions. A lot of people say that's boring, that takes too much time. It's actually easier sometimes to do a martial arts, let's say, a basic, very basic, taekwondo, sidekick, uh, you know, maybe, okay, I twisted and torqued a little, uh, you know, that way. It, this is easy. Now, try holding the same thing for time, okay? So you're here, here, then do it in proper form. Your leg out, you'll feel it in your butt muscles, okay? And you're not going to feel it that much in your butt when actually doing the rapid fire kicks that way you can go higher up you know uh, 
I'm not the best at these. I haven't practiced these for a long time, but if I, you know, I've shown you how I do the splits and stuff. And uh, my plan is simple. After doing just a couple of these, I can feel it in my hips and my butt. I could do 50 of these bang, 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 which is hard enough for a lot of people. You know, I could have a bag in front of me. I could be doing my roundhouse kicks or I could be, you know, this way. Bang, bang, then, you know, punching, whatever it is, chin tucked, you know, I'm not showing you a proper form here. But um, it's really when you hold that position isometrically that it becomes a lot tougher, okay? You feel it in your muscles a lot more, you feel it in your ligaments a lot more, your tendons, your joints, all of that. I'm not saying that's all you need to do, but... A lot of you guys that say that, that, you know, holding a position is just for show in the movies and stuff like that. Well, to a certain extent, if it's a movie, maybe it is in that regard. But isometrics, man, done right, is anything but show. My books, Isometric and Flexibility Training, Advanced Isometric and Flexibility Training, have more on this, okay? This isn't a video teaching you how to kick, you know. It's not that. It applies to anything. You hold a handstand, okay? If we're going to do handstand push-ups, uh, how many of you have actually done a shrug, a handstand shrug, which is basically you shrug like this, right? Okay, so just do it up till here and hold the position. You'll feel your entire trapezius area shaking, your arms shaking, all of that. The towel pull-up that I just showed you, video one, just hold the dead hang there. Hell, just hold the dead hang in a regular pull-up. Why do I emphasize the dead hang so much? Not just because it builds the grip, but because it does so. By focusing the tendons and that, you know, um, by focusing on the tendons, ligaments, that. So again, another simple example, handstands. It's one thing to bang, bang, just bang out handstands, okay? Uh, I got my shoes in that here, so we'll put them. Um, but, and I haven't done these for a while, so let's, you know, let me show you why holding the position, and do these with me, don't just, here, here, okay. Now, get in this position. You see, I don't know, well, I can't show you because my own hands, my own traps and that were not shaking. When you get in that position, you'll see that your traps will start to shake and shudder, that a lot of things will react differently in your body than if you just did it quickly and pushed back up. I'm not saying don't do that. Do it. By all means, do it, you know. Uh, same thing for maybe a push-up isometric, you know. So, if you're out here, simply holding, it's one thing to, it's one thing to do this, okay? That's hard enough for most people, but, so you're holding here, right? Isometrically, then you go slowly. Okay. Then you hold again. Okay. You'll feel it a lot more in your elbows, the tendons, your fingers, your wrists. Okay. That's really my point. Isometrics build muscle, tendon, and ligament control. I don't care if you're and I don't care what you're doing, martial arts, playing tennis, swimming, or simply hoisting stuff like heavy furniture upstairs or whatnot. That sort of thing, man, keeps you from getting injured. Uh, it helps you improve your results, overall fitness results. It is imperative, in fact, to overall, to, to improve your overall fitness results to get very good at these isometric movements. Uh, the splits 
How do you think people kick? It's not from the thigh. It's, it comes from here, here, and here. Getting good at the splits isn't just a matter of showing off, saying, hey, I can fall into the splits. It's a matter of real world strength and flexibility here, 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 and here. Okay. Uh, so that's the point of this video, man. Isometrics builds muscle control, ligament control, tendon control, and strength, flexibility, like nothing else will. But it's not going to do it if this is your... A lot of people think this is isometrics. Okay, just, you know, this way. No. Even this can be a good isometric if you simply... You don't just do this. You make sure your arms, like I say, in corrugated core, you... See? Most people do this, see? Your hands can be like this. And your legs are straight. So you really focus on each part of the motion, movement, okay? That's how you really make isometrics effective. And they built muscle control like nothing else can, okay? And that's the point of this video. Isometrics builds muscle control like nothing else can. Uh, and you need to be figuring out a way to work them. So let's say, see with this club. Now I can do, okay, this is my club. I can do, for example, this, okay, all day. I can, I mean, not all, you get my point, you know, this way, that way. I can do this as many times as I like. No big deal. Though it is for a lot of people, mm, no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. However, try taking this and simply holding it like this. Now for me, this, this weight is easy, but a lot of you, your grip will give out. This will fall this way or this way. Try holding two of them in each hand. That's an isometric, okay? So on my left hand, that way, okay? A lot of you will really have to focus on the grip or it's going to bang you this way. That's another way to work isometrics into your routine. Uh, muscle control isn't just for show. It's for real world purposes. It builds the tendons, ligaments, and everything way better than just regular exercise will. I learned this the hard way, and I'm teaching it to you. And uh, that's that for this video. See you all soon.